Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm gonna have a couple videos coming at you guys. Um, but this is my 22 by 12 new wheel setup. Um, I'm just gonna go in depth with it and then we'll just go from there. To start off with it, um, it's I have 22 by 12 hostile sprockets. Um, it's the asphalt color. I also got the brake calipers painted. But 22 by 12 negative 44 offset. I got some Dirt Commander Centennial tires. Um, they are a little loud for tires, but I did want something kind of cheap. I wasn't really uh, wanting to go Ridge Grapplers because uh, they're just quite frankly too expensive for the amount of driving I do. Um, so, I mean, I've been putting a lot of miles on this and, and then I just kind of wanted something I can change out whenever without really uh, it affecting me too much. I'm sorry about how dirty it is too, but I've been using it for work a lot. Um, as far as rubbing goes, it's really not that bad. Um, you really don't have to trim this mud flap as much as I did. I just went straight down the middle. Um, I'll show you so if you can see the, the dirt right there, hold on. All right, right there is where it rubs a little bit on the fender liner. So you, I really didn't need to uh, uh, cut the mud flap that much, but I just kind of wanted a cleaner look. Um, barely rubs on the front fender liner. I will turn the wheel right now just to show you guys. So there is the front of the rubbing. Barely, barely, barely on the fender liner. Not really noticeable. All right, guys, one more thing I did forget to mention is that I needed a very, 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 very small um, disc or spacer to fit the front wheel on because of the new brake, uh, brake calipers and rotors. So um, just FYI on that one, very, very small spacer. And then on the rear fender liner, as you can see, it's not even touching here. It just kind of depends on what angle you're at. So um, we have clearance right there. Just ultimately, like I said, depends on what angle you're at. Mostly doesn't rub. If it does, it's a very, very, very slight rub. I cut the mud flap because I didn't want to hear how loud it was on the mud flap because it created a much louder uh, noise on the mud flap. But other than that, I'm so happy with my 2212 setup. I was kind of nervous on it. Um, if you guys were wondering, actually, I did do the um, I believe it was a one and a half or two inch leveling kit, zone leveling kit. Um, problem with the rocks. But yeah, I did a zone leveling kit. It rides really smooth actually. I'm really impressed with how it rides so far. Um, other than that, I've been so happy with it. I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. Um, most of the people out here uh, usually just run like a 20 by 10 or 22 by 12, uh, 10. So I've been super happy with it. I'm really, I've really been enjoying this setup. I mean, you can see how far it sticks out. It's a nice setup. It sits really high for the leveling kit. I really didn't realize um, how high it was gonna sit, which I absolutely love how it sits. I've been towing with it and everything and just evens out so nice. There's a little shot there. But yeah, that is my 22 by 12 Hostel Sprockets, negative 44 offset with a 33 12 and a half R22 tire. Um, I'm overall really happy about it, guys and I highly recommend doing it for as little as it rubs. Um, I was really surprised they could do the leveling kit on a block too, using stock control arms and all. So yeah, there she is. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. I will put a roller in this video at the end. Um, there's my setup right there. If you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. I've got a lot more planned for this truck. Wheels and tires kind of came out of nowhere. I didn't expect it, but it was the best surprise really. Um, I just kind of pulled the trigger on it. I said, let's do it. And I'm really happy about it, guys. So highly recommend. Like I said, if you guys have any questions at all, let me know. It's really not bad at all. And I love it. Thanks, guys.